Welcome to the GOB Laboratory at Mercy University. In this experiment, we'll investigate how visible light interacts with colored dyes and how we can use that information to analyze the colorings present in sports drinks. In part A of this experiment, we'll collect and analyze the visible absorption spectra of six food dyes. Here are some of the materials that we'll make use of in part A of this experiment. First, we'll take an empty polystyrene cuvette and fill it at least three quarters full with distilled water. This will function as a blank or reference sample in our experiment. If you have a cuvette cap available, go ahead and cap the cuvette to avoid spilling it during the experiment. Next, enter the LabQuest app by clicking on the icon on the LabQuest home screen. Use the provided USB cable to connect the spectrophotometer to your LabQuest. Once you've correctly attached the spectrophotometer to the LabQuest, you should see a screen that registers absorbance. Before we can use the spectrophotometer, it needs to be calibrated. To do this, we select Calibrate from the sensor's menu. This will initiate a warm-up timer for the lamp, allowing us to get consistent results whenever we use the spectrophotometer. To finish the calibration, insert your blank sample into the spectrophotometer, making sure that the arrow on the cuvette lines up with the arrow on the spectrophotometer. Now select Finish Calibration and then OK in order to complete the calibration of the spectrophotometer. Then remove the blank sample from your spectrophotometer. You're now ready to analyze your six dye standards. Select a dye standard to analyze and carefully insert it into your spectrophotometer, again making sure the arrow on the cuvette aligns with the arrow on the spectrophotometer. Use the play button in the lower left-hand corner to record your absorption spectrum. Once you've captured a stable recording, use the stop button to end the data collection. To see more detail on your collected spectrum, Highlight your data and select Zoom In from the Graph menu. To see which colors your sample is absorbing, select Show Graph and Show Spectrum from the Graph menu. This allows us to clearly see the absorption in the blue-green region of the spectrum. Double tapping at the top of the graph will shrink the color spectrum. To determine the wavelength of maximum absorbance, highlight your data and select Statistics from the Analyze menu. We're looking for the highest point on our absorbance spectrum. In the panel on the right, we can see that this corresponds to a max absorbance of 1.162 at a wavelength of 520.4 nanometers. Again, select Statistics from the Analyze menu to clear the Statistics panel on the right. Remove your dye standard from the spectrophotometer and select another dye standard to analyze. Insert your standard into the spectrophotometer, again making sure the arrow on the cuvette aligns with the arrow on the spectrophotometer. Use the play button to record your next spectrum. Select Store to save your previous spectrum. Stop the data collection when you have obtained a stable spectrum. Again, determine your peak position and maximum absorbance by selecting Statistics from the Analyze menu. Here we see that this dye also absorbs in the blue-green region of the spectrum, with a maximum absorbance of 0.918 at a wavelength of 496.4 nanometers. Again, select Statistics from the Analyze menu to clear the Statistics panel on the right. Remove your sample from the spectrophotometer and select another sample to analyze. Be sure to use gloves when handling your cuvettes. Dust or fingerprints can be removed using a chem wipe or soft cloth. Insert your next sample into the spectrophotometer, again making sure the arrow on the cuvette aligns with the arrow on the spectrophotometer. Collect your new spectrum and be sure to store the old one. Hit the stop button to complete your data collection. Drag to select your data and then select statistics from the analyze menu. Here we see that this dye absorbs in the blue-violet region of the spectrum with a maximum absorbance of 0.868 at a wavelength of 418.0 nanometers. Again, clear your statistics and prepare to analyze another sample. Repeat the same analysis procedure for each of your remaining dye standards.
Here we see that this dye sample also absorbs in the blue-violet region of the spectrum. The dye appears to have a maximum absorbance of 0.848 at a wavelength of 479.9 nanometers. This dye appears to absorb in the yellow-orange region of the spectrum. It appears to have an absorbance of 0.997 at a wavelength of 627.9 nanometers. Our last dye sample also appears to absorb in the yellow-orange region of the spectrum. It appears to have a maximum absorbance of 0.903 at a wavelength of 610.7 nanometers. To examine all six spectra side by side, we select Graph Options from the Graph menu. Then we select each of the absorbent spectra that we wish to display. We'll select runs 1 through 6. We can deselect point symbols to make the graphs clearer. We may also wish to change the x-axis of our plot. 899 nanometers is pretty far into the infrared, so we're going to shorten that to about 750 nanometers at the end of the red range. If some of your peaks are cut off, we can also adjust the Y range of our plot. Select the top option and change the value to something more like 1.2. Now we can see how each of our dyes has a unique and almost fingerprint-like absorption spectrum. We can use those features to identify each of the dyes as well as using the peak positions to pick out colors that might be present even in a mixture.